The closure of Holden's and the associated part makers will be a defining moment for our state. Without wishing in any way to make light of the personal impact of the closures, over the next perhaps four years, we have the opportunity to lead the transformation of our economy. In this transformational process, are we going to be passive passengers or active drivers? Late last year, I was concerned that media coverage almost exclusively focused on government for solutions. We need a broad-based community ownership of the challenge ahead because they are our issues and they require our attention if we're to forge sustainable solutions. That's why I thought it was important to start an engaged community dialogue on the way ahead. So with CEDA and the business community support, this conference aims to systematically evaluate business opportunities that will transition us towards a future economy. And such a transition is certainly not beyond us. We already have smart and innovative companies trading on the global stage. Last year in this state, our exports rose 9.5% to over $11.5 billion. We can build on these achievements to ensure that the advanced manufacturing sector continues to drive future economic growth. And the opportunities and rewards of the business are enormous. In our region alone, China's middle class will grow to 630 million by 2022. They are eager and discerning customers who will seek out and pay for quality. Closer to home, an equally discerning middle class of 45 million consumers in Indonesia grows by 7 million per year. And we can't forget the markets in the Indian subcontinent. Yes, competition will be fierce, but already we have much of the quality sourced material and services that are in demand. So today, CEDA has brought together an outstanding panel to discuss those future opportunities and it's time that we hear from them. Before I finish, I'd like to thank Tony, the panel, CEDA, KPMG and the other sponsors for running this event and I also want to thank you for showing interest in attending. Finally, let's make sure this event doesn't end up as an indulgent talk fest. I expect an outcome from today will be some process that ensures better systematic and sustained links between government and business on the way ahead. We can all help to drive the next step of this transformational journey. Thank you.